In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use AI to create a professional website for a local business. Specifically, we'll be using Claude, v0.dev, make.com, and Google Sheets because we're also going to track leads and bookings that come from this website. Really quick, I'm looking for the best short form editors to join my team. If this is something you'd be interested, go ahead, fill out the application in the description. All right, back to the video. So let's go ahead and dive into Claude. We're gonna use Claude to go ahead and create the framework of the website and then we'll go and deploy it on V0 and make sure all the tracking is set up from V0 into make.com and Google Sheets. So let's start by giving Claude a little bit of context for the niche that we're gonna be creating a website in. And I'm just gonna let Claude do some assumption, which I think Claude is better at than GPT, which is why I'm using it. So let's go ahead and create a prompt. I wanna make a professional website for a local auto detailer. I want you to go ahead and create a headline for me as well as a sub headline. Leave a space for an image below that and then also make a, a section in the website that will add to the credibility of the site. Below that, we're going to have an intake form. This is gonna have name, email, phone number, as well as the availability to book a day that is five days out and to book a time that is between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a submit button as well. So there's our prompt and then Claude will just automatically do this in React and Tailwind, which is perfect because we can go ahead and just dump that, copy and paste it over into V0. So we'll let this go ahead and create this script for us. Okay, so this is what Claude gave us. I don't love the blue at the top, so we're gonna go ahead and change that. Everything else looks good, except for the book appointment. I don't love the month, date, and year. I'm gonna just go ahead and have those be drop downs. So let's go ahead and change the top header. Change the top of the website where it's blue. I just want this to be black instead, or maybe like a, a dark gray and then have the title on top of that. And then also for the book your appointment, I want that to be a drop down selector that allows you to select five days ahead from now and then the time also be a drop down as well. Okay, so here's our final right here. The top has been updated and then you can see we now have a drop down of five days into the future for select date and then we can also select times as well. This is perfect. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and go over to the code. We're gonna copy the code. We're gonna come over to V0 and we're gonna need to do a couple things in V0. So let's go ahead and start just by pasting the code. And since it's kinda of large, it's just gonna paste it as a file. And then we're gonna bring in an image here as well. I'm just gonna choose let's see this image right here which is just a car getting detailed and then we're going to also need to throw this information over to a webhook now this might be scary but just stick with me here it's pretty simple we're just going to go to make.com create a new scenario head over to webhooks we're going to create a custom webhook again if you've never used webhook before don't worry it's super simple we're just going to go ahead and add a webhook this is just going to be called auto detail the name here doesn't matter at all just for your own records i'm going to copy the address right here and then just save this. Now we're gonna bring this over to V0. Now we also need to go and give a couple more instructions over to V0. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put the webhook below and then give some instructions to V0. This is website code that I want to go and build a website with. I want you to take this image and place it in the image field and then the information from the form down below should all be required in order to submit the form and from there, I want to throw all that information over to this make webhook. Okay, let's change that. And then we can go ahead and run that. Now V0 is gonna take that code, it's gonna take the image and it's gonna take the webhook, kind of bring everything together. V0 or Vercel will actually host that image for you. And then when you go and submit the code, it'll also throw the code out to, or sorry, not the code, but it'll take the information from the form and it'll send it over to the webhook, which we want because in make.com, we can then send it wherever we want. So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and send this to your email as well as send it to Google Sheets and basically anywhere else that you want. Okay, so here's our website right here. Premium auto detailing in your area. Again, you could customize this to be whatever you want. Let's see how everything looks here. So far, this looks good. Try to book an appointment. As you can see, please fill out the field. It's a required field. The date drop down looks good. The time drop down looks good. So let's go ahead and we wanna give this a quick little test before we go and deploy it. We'll head over to make. 
we're gonna run this module and this is just gonna wait for information to be thrown to it, which we just told V0 to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna put in my name, fake email, just for the scenario here, fake phone number, and then I'm gonna just select, let's say Monday, and then I'm gonna also select 10 a.m. I'm gonna say book appointment, an embedded page at blah, 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 error booking appointment, please try again. So that didn't work, so it didn't actually throw the information out to the make webhook. So we're gonna say fix this with V0. Uh, and then I'm also just gonna add, make sure that you are submitting all the form information to this make webhook. I'm just gonna actually say webhook. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take this. Okay, so we're gonna error handle that. And then we're also just gonna resubmit the webhook just to make sure We'll let this do its thinking. All right, so let's give this a try once more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run this once, and then we can go ahead and fill out our information. Select a date, we'll try Tuesday, and then we're gonna do 1 p.m. book appointment. Uh, appointment booked successfully, and you should see that our information came through to the webhook as well. So that means that V0 is working just fine, so we can go ahead and we can deploy this site. So we'll let that deploy, and now we wanna actually go and send some information around. So we're gonna bring lead data over to this Google Sheet, and then we're also gonna have it email us as well. So let's go ahead and let's go over to Google Sheet. We're gonna add a row. Uh, by the way, this template will be available to download in the link in the description. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just create this connection with, uh, yeah, we'll just keep it as what it was, my Google connection. Sign in with Google really quick. Okay, so we made that connection. Now let's go ahead and choose this sheet right here. So we'll just actually copy this and then head over here, choose spreadsheet. And then what we wanna do is we're gonna head down to the lead sheet. Table contains headers, yes. We're gonna to go to name, put the name field in, email, email field, phone, phone field. Now, we have a couple different dates here. So date booked, we're gonna put this date in, and then we're going to put time booked as well, um, and we're gonna do that here. Now, we could just choose right now, or there is a submitted at date that it looks like V0 just threw in for us. So we'll just go ahead and use the one that's built in. So we're gonna do a little bit of formatting here. So we're gonna do format, date, and then we're gonna do now, and then we're gonna use a semicolon, and then we're gonna go and format the date, like it says here. So day, day, dot, month, month, dot, year, 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 year and then we're gonna go and close that out. What this is gonna do, if we take the right now date, it's gonna show it like this, with a date and a time. We don't want a time, we just want a date. So this is gonna be how we go and read and count the leads based on the day. So we just want it to showcase that it was booked on this day. So we're gonna do that just like this. And then for the source, we can have this be whatever, right? So say it's from my business and I was the one doing this, then I could say Cam website. So then I know all the leads came from this website. Now, I want this to go ahead and send an email as well. So I'm gonna do email and I'm gonna say send an email. And then I'm gonna create a connection here really quick. Google restricted is fine. My Google restricted connection. Let's go ahead and make this connection as well. And I just want this because I want it to have a notification that pops up in my inbox whenever I actually go and submit the form. So say some random person submits the form, then I get an email that so-and-so booked an appointment at this time. So the recipient here is going to be to the email address that's submitted, and then the subject will say, your appointment is confirmed. And then content type is gonna be plain text, and then content, or actually this wouldn't be appointment confirmed unless we wanted to send it to them. So we could go and send them an email and say, your appointment is confirmed. Uh, and then we could just say, um, your appointment is confirmed for, and then we can just go ahead and put in day, and then we can put in date, and then we can do time, and then we can go ahead and throw in time right here. Uh, 
Looking forward to seeing you soon. Perfect. And then say auto detailer, whatever their name is. Okay, so we have that. It'll send to their email. I'm gonna actually say yes here because I do want it to save. Actually, no, I'm not gonna go through all that. We'll just say no for now. And I'm gonna save that. I'm also gonna do another email and this is gonna be a send email as well. And this is just gonna send to my personal email. So I'm just gonna say new, I want this to basically be a notification, new appointment, plain text, and then this is just going to have name, email, phone, date, time. And then if I wanted any other details, I could put those in too. So this is just gonna be all the details of whoever just booked date, time, now. I want this to go ahead and send to my personal email address. So I'm gonna say Cam. There we go, I'm gonna have that saved. Now, what will happen is every single time that the form is submitted, it will go ahead and it will send the information over to Google Sheets to go and track it, which you should do, right? And then it'll go ahead and send an email to the person that just filled out the form, as well as an email to the business owner, which in this case is just gonna be me for this example. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna say run this once. Obviously we could keep this on all the time. For this case, I'm just gonna run this once. Uh, you can see the website is deployed. So now we have a live link here. So I could go and actually just view this on my phone or really whatever I wanted. So I'm gonna go and actually put in my name put in my actual email here and then I'm just gonna put in a random phone number as well select date let's just say Monday at 11 a.m. and then I'm gonna go ahead and book an appointment so appointment has been booked successfully as you can see these all fired as according to plan obviously we'll need to blur this but you can see all the details came through here cam my email phone number date that it was booked for as well as time booked and lead source this is actually whoops, not showing up as we would want. So let's go ahead and actually change this up really quick. So we're gonna have this be year, um, month, day. So let's change this really quick. So we're gonna go year, month, day. Okay, as you can actually see, I got an email that says your appointment is confirmed, as you can see right there. So that's working. And let's give it one more try here. All right, so now that the date is spitting out, you can see we're tracking leads. So we have five in February. Uh, if we go here, we can see we have five for the 17th. So the leads are tracking properly. So everything is working. We've got the link. We can go, this is deployed. We could go and put in our own custom domain. Um, but we did all that from AI in, I would say, record time and everything is working as it should. If you want to download this lead template, go ahead and hit the link in the description. I'll send it to you right now for free. And outside of that, I'll catch you in the next video.